hello students i'm again with you all with my topic for today dipole and i hope the previous class you must have understood much about the electric field and today we are going to do much ahead of this in the form of a dipole electric dipole we are going to discuss about the electric dipole and if you see the name then it's the name itself gives you an idea what exactly we are talking about dipole means two so we are having two charges so what are the condition necessary for the dipole we will have two charges the charges will be equal in magnitude okay so if it is plus 10 the other needs to be minus 10 coulomb if one is plus 10 coulomb the other one needs to be minus 10 coulomb okay so that is the first requirement then next the charges should be equal in magnitude but opposite in sign. So one cannot be positive and the other one cannot be positive. So one is positive. Kya hoga dusra? Yes. It should be negative. And the distance between the two should be very small. A very small distance between the two uh, needs to be there. Because it's distance like we uh, cons uh, if you get to measure things it is in terms of angstrom. And one angstrom you all know it is 10 to the power minus 10 meter. So we have taken here uh, a dipole and when we take a dipole what uh, the important formula we need to know about the dipole. Suppose if you have taken this is minus Q and this is plus Q. We are talking about, talking about electric dipole. Okay. So in electric dipole we have got two charges. They are equal in magnitude and let us take the distance between them to be 2L. 2L is the distance between the two charges. Now in this case, if we take the distance between the uh, two charges as 2L, if you remember, the in the electric field we have spoken about the electric lines force starting from positive ending into the negative charge. But here we will have the direction of the dipole moment. We are talking about electric dipole moment. And we uh, represent it by small p. It is a vector quantity. So here the electric dipole moment q uh, p is equals to q into 2L. So Q is the, it is the product of either of the charge, the magnitude of the charge and the distance between the two. And uh, the direction of this dipole moment is from negative to positive. It is from negative to positive. So in the vector form, you can write it in this form. And the unit will be coulomb meter because the charge unit is coulomb. And for the meter, you know, meter, uh, length it is meter, so coulomb meter. And uh, the dimensional formula charge is uh, AT. So we can write the dimensional formula as equals to A T M. Okay, so this is about examples. There are many. If you take the example of hydrogen chloride, hydrogen is more positive, chlorine is negative. So we have got a dipole moment between uh, existing between the two. Now uh, to take it further, we have got three different cases. Uh, three different cases. I will not complete it because in the notes I have already made you write one uh, one condition we are going to do axial line it is also known as end on position so in this case we'll take two charges this is minus q and this is plus q okay and we want to find out the electric field at point p so distance between the two uh, charges is 2l right and p is at a distance this is a center let us assume a b is the dipole so p is a point at a distance r from the center of the dipole it means yes the distance kya hai p ka distance r so electric field if you want to know about uh, we need to find out the electric field intensity what is uh, our condition we need to find out the electric field intensity if you have to see the electric field intensity at point p due to plus q charge okay so even is the electric field intensity at P due to plus Q charge. So what is the formula? 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 charge divided by distance R minus L ka whole square. You will very well agree uh, from here till here it is R and we want to take this distance only BP. So it is L. Uh, this is L. So it is this distance is R minus L whole square. And the direction of this force uh, electric field is this even outward. Because positive, positive, outward. And same way, if you get to know the electric field intensity at P due to minus Q charge, it is 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 Q divided by, see, here we have got R distance and this is L. So it is R plus L ka whole square. Okay. And what will be the direction? It will be towards the negative. So this is E2. So the resultant electric field E will be 
and because the denominator is less so the magnitude of even is more even is more than that of e2 so ultimately you can very well write this e is equals to e1 minus e2 and if you just get the value if you just solve it you take 1 by 4 by epsilon 0 as out q is out here 1 by uh, r minus l ka whole square and this 1 by r plus l ka whole square Okay, so ultimately what you are getting up, you are getting up E equals to 1 by 4 by epsilon 0. This is uh, R plus L ka whole square minus R minus L ka whole square divided by R square minus L square ka whole square. This is the basic a plus b whole square, a minus b whole square is what? 4ab. So you get here 4rl. So what you are getting up? You are getting up here 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 q. This is 4rl divided by r square minus l square ka whole square. And here we have taken 2q. p is equals to what? q into 2l. Is it it? So you can very well write this is 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 p 2 p r divided by r square minus l square ka whole square and if we assume that r is much much greater than l we can very well write e equals to 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 this is r divided by r to the power 4 r by 1 by r cube p 2 p by r cube and uh, vector form you can very well take like this. It is acting in the output direction because even is greater than e2. Okay, same way on this pattern only we will be doing up uh, the electric field due due to our dipole in the equatorial line when the charge uh, when we have the point P at the equatorial bisector. Let us see how we are getting up. We are doing it for the broad side on position broad side on position okay and yes again we have got a dipole minus q plus q distance between them as 2l p is a diamond this is what's known as equatorial line equatorial line p is at the distance r from the center of the dipole a b Right? So again with the electric field, this is positive, positive, outward. So this is E1, positive, negative, towards negative. So this is E2. So we have got two uh, electric field in two different directions. Uh, now here if I, this is R and this is L. So this side will be R square plus L square to the power half. And this is R square plus L square to the power half. Is it right? So we have got two force the electric field. So and the resultant will be along this direction. So this is what this is also theta. This is also theta because the isosceles triangle. This is theta theta. So this is theta. So this is also theta, and ultimately this is also theta. So what we are getting up here, you have got an electric field. Sorry, even vector. This is the resultant electric field we are bothered about. And you have another electric field E2 vector like this. This is D. Okay. So if you resolve, so what you get, I'll just write here even thing. So you resolve. So this is even sine theta. And this side it is even cos theta. If you resolve E2, this side it is E2 sine theta. And this side is again E2 cos theta. So even sine theta, you can see that E1 and E2 are same. E1 and E2 is equals to 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0. Q divided by distance square. For this also distance and this also distance same. So what we can write R square plus L square to the power. If you square it, half will get over. So you are left out with R square plus L square. So they are same. So E is equals to twice of E1 cos theta. So twice of E1, E1, 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0, Q 
square plus l square and let's do for cos theta cos theta is equal to cos theta is again base theta is the so it is plus cos theta cos theta is again base theta is this so this is perpendicular this is base base is n and this is r square plus l square to the power half so let us write here n r square plus l square to the power half now you can see that 2QL, 2QL is again giving you what? Uh, electric dipole moment. So what you are getting up E equals to uh, 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0. This is P divided by R square plus L square to the power 3 by 2. 1 plus half is 3 by 2. Now again we will take the same condition. If R is much much greater than L, then we get E equals to 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0. P divided by R square cancels R Q. So what is the direction? The direction of the dipole moment is this, but it is just in the opposite direction. So dipole moment direction is here and this is acting on this. So it is anti-parallel. The direction of the resultant electric field, what it is? It is anti-parallel to the direction of the dipole moment. So this is what we have done with uh, like uh, I hope you have understood about the electric field which we are calculating for a uh, axial uh, line and we are doing for the equatorial line. Hope you have understood the class and uh, uh, have given the notes also so it will help you to understand. Thank you.